it's Shish Kebab everyone coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Today guys, we are back, back in the old USA in Texas. Lots of green grass, green trees, and all that good stuff. Set the tablet down right here. Uh, this video guys is all about season eight, uh, warships wrap up kind of. Actually, it's not really a wrap up, it's more of a What's up? Uh, what's going on? We got a problem and uh, I want to talk about it and I want to air some dirty laundry in the attempt to get it clean. Of course, there's only one person that can clean it and that is you, Supercell, so I hope you are listening. Um, okay, so here's the problem, guys. We've got an incredible amount of players that are intentionally drawing matches to gain an unfair competitive advantage against the rest of us that are not doing this, okay? That's the big picture. Now, we've, we've talked about this for a while. You guys are well aware of it. I've, I've been harping about it for some time. But we've had other problems. Bigger fish to fry. Those fish have been fried. We have stopped the time travelers. That's awesome. Let's fry these fish. Let's fry these turkeys, guys, because that's exactly what these people are. All right, let's take a look at global number one, guys. Congratulations to the global number one top cheater in this game. And I will call them a cheater because they are in direct violation of the terms of service agreement, which I will go over later in this video. They are cheaters. Um, here we go. Let's take a look at his profile. Um, total battles fought, 497. Of that, he had 71 draws. That is an amazing, amazing draw ratio, guys. That's over 10% of his matches as draws. What gives? I'll explain. Um, and you're gonna notice this trend occurs with many, many players. Um, in fact, let's take a look at the trend before I even uh, explain why this matters. I just want you to see the scope of this picture. Um, let's see now. Well, there's the there's the unacceptable behavior from Supercell. That's not what we're looking at right here. This is what we wanna see. All right, guys, what I've done is I've taken, I've sampled the top 100 players of the uh, global leaderboard. Um, we've got rank along the x-axis, that's global leaderboard rank, and we've got draw percentage along the vertical axis. I'm sorry I wasn't able to label my axes. It's a trial version of Excel. Bear with me, but the data's here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not COVID, not yet. Um, anyway, so what we see, guys, is we've got 43 of the top 100 players that have draw ratios of over 5%. Me, personally, I had a draw ratio of 2%. And honestly, that's pretty high for a player that wasn't doing any cheating. Most of the uh, most of the draw ratios, they're they're very low. Like you can look out towards the, the the right end of the chart here, they're all relatively low. These were the players that actually tried um, and weren't colluding. But we've got some draw ratios up to twenty five percent. Okay, of the top fifty guys, I think it was thirty four players uh, had draw ratios over five percent. That's a huge huge amount of collusion. Okay, um, let's get into why draws are bad. Let's switch back to the game real quick. Okay, so guys, let's see, where to begin, where to begin? Well, how about at the beginning, um, the beginning of the season? So what happens is we all start out based on where we finished last season. You know that, right? We, we start off with 40% of our previous season stars. Now, let's assume there's already been some shady stuff going on in the game and some of these people already have an advantage. These people that are doing this technique they're already starting off pretty well. And as you can see, they finished very well too. So they're gonna have the same like good start next season for season nine, okay? So here's what that means. We all get online, we all play at the same time. Now, they've already got a slight advantage on tech already because they finished ahead of us. Um, so that's, that gives them an edge already. When they meet their friends who are at the same tech level as them, they're gonna draw. So no one's losing stars, okay? What they're gonna do, but, but then what that means is someone like us who might be a couple uh, ranks below them, well, we're the only ones left in the queue that they can match with. They can only match with people that are at their tech because they're basically max tech, or of course there's people below them. Well, around the max tech level, they're all, collude, they're all colluding together, guys. They're all cheating. They're all gonna draw. They're all gonna throw the matches to one another. So, so nobody takes each other's stars. All they end up doing is getting matched with people down here of one or two ranks below them and taking those stars and feeding them up top. Yes, it's a slower process because of the way we have the graduated star system in the game, but it still works. It still works quite effectively and you can see it on the chart. That's number one. So what this does is that already gives them, like they already start with an unfair tech advantage based on the fact that we're starting with uh, a carryover of the previous season's tech. And then they exacerbate and they uh, that advantage by, um, by only fighting people with less tech. Okay, and they don't, they don't fight each other. Now, there's another big problem that actually occurs here, too, in the first part of the season. And this is all before you get to, of course, Legendary League, because you guys know we get win streaks, right? Anytime you get three or more wins, or I guess it's on the fourth win, it's when the win streak bonus actually applies, um, you get a 50% star multiplier, all right? And unfortunately, 
if you get a draw inside of a win streak, it doesn't end the win streak. So let's say you got these two cheating Chinese players, all right? Because they're all Chinese that are doing this. It's not racist, it's just what, it's who they are. Um, you got these two cheating Chinese players that 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 are, um, you know, colluding together, right? Then, then when they fight and they're both on a win streak, but they draw, they don't lose the win streak, guys. I'm sorry, getting confused, but my point is two players on a win streak, they both draw, they both leave that match still on a win streak, okay? That's that's wrong, that needs to be fixed. Uh, draws should automatically stop win streaks, okay, Supercell? If you have a draw, your win streak is over, all right? That's, that's rule number one. <laughs> rule number two, um, and well, it's eh, I hardly matter. Oh, that's the wrong leaderboard, guys. Sorry about that. Um, Rule number two should also be how you calculate, ah, keep doing the wrong leaderboard, how you calculate your actual win ratios. Now, this doesn't matter so much this season, but it's just something I noticed. The math is wrong. Well, I, I think it's wrong. Come say your concept of what is a draw and what is a win. Um, when they calculate win ratio, uh, the intuitive response would be to think you take the total wins and divide that by the total number of matches, and that would be your win ratio. But that is not the case. Um, what they're doing is taking total wins and dividing it by wins plus losses. They're, they're excluding draws from the equation altogether, which is also really bizarre, and I have no idea why the heck you would do that. Of course, it doesn't matter because we're not finishing all at the same rank, so it only matters if we were all finishing Legendary 10 and these people would have a big win percentage advantage, but it's still wrong. I mean, I, I don't understand why a win percentage would, would not indicate the amount of draws that occurred in the total battles fought. I'm just saying. So this guy that shows a 77.9% win ratio, it's not correct. Not in my book, not by my math. Um, you see, he's got 497 battles fought. Round it up, make the math easy, call it 500, all right? He won 332 of those matches. Well, multiply that by two, what do you get? You get 66, guys. That's a 66% win ratio, which is still really impressive, but it's not a 77.9, okay? That's my point, so fix that, <laughs> number two. Um, but I think most importantly is, is how and when we award draws, all right? Because when these players come to fight each other, all they're doing is they see their friend, and they both say, oh, retreat instantly. So what happens is you have a 0% damage fight with four minutes remaining. And, you know, there, there's everything's the same, right? For, for all the indicators, like there's no ERs destroyed. And they, they, they both have the same amount of time left on the clock. So ultimately, boom, it's a draw. And neither player is penalized. Well, that needs to change. I think if two people just meet each other and they, they just um, choose to retreat right away, like if both players do that, it should be an automatic loss. I don't see why not. Now, you could be arguing like, oh, well, you know, maybe you have a connection problem or something like that. It's happened, you know, I've started a match and then lost my connection. Um, but you know what, when that happens, I'm losing that match anyway, so I don't care. So you know what, if anybody just retreats, I don't even care if both players retreat, even if just one person retreats right at the beginning, make it a loss because I really don't see how it affects anything uh, in a bad way. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Because again, if I lost connection, I was gonna lose anyway. So that's the only reason I would be retreating at the start of a match. I mean, if you're retreating, you're basically saying, I lose, especially at the start of a match, right? I mean, if you haven't even fought, you didn't even try and you just retreat, it sounds like a loss to me, guys. So I really think that needs to be put in there because these players are very, very crafty and they're exploiting um, these mechanisms in the game. Now you might be wondering, Shishka Bobber, is this really a violation of terms of service? Yes, yes, absolutely yes. Um, and I'll show you why. And it's for reasons like this that Supercell either needs to A, update term service, or B, fix the game, all right? It's one or the other, because right now there's a direct conflict, at least by how I read it and quite frankly, how any other person reads it. Um, here we go. This right here comes from Supercell's uh, terms of service agreement in their fair play section. This is the, uh, the part that talks about unacceptable behavior. Let's go through it. All right, item number four, knowingly exploiting a bug. Yeah, the term a bug is vague, all right? But you could kind of consider this a bug because quite frankly, I don't think this is how draws should be handled, okay? A draw is not a win. Um, number five, messing with matchmaking. Oh, this definitely messes with matchmaking. There's queue manipulation. They they will queue with one player, then immediately queue with another player of their friends. Um, so you could say that's messing with matchmaking. But then again, it's such a small pool of players. It's, it's, it's kind of hard not to do that. So I won't come too hard on this. But point number six, that's the real big one, match fixing. That's exactly what they're doing. They, they're predetermining the outcome of the match before it's even fought, guys. That's a, that's fixing the match. That they, they already know that either one of us is gonna win. That's, deter, that's a predetermined outcome of the match. That is match, fi that is match fixing, plain and simple. Ah. So 
fix it, guys. <laughs> I like, like the problem, not the matches. Um, and then also, number seven is encouraging others to break the rules. Well, you can pretty much assume this has happened because there's 43 players doing it. Now, unless they all thought of this on their own spontaneously, there have been others encouraging this. Okay, guys? And uh, just to remind you, like Supercell's reminding us, you know, hey, I didn't know is not a valid excuse. So it doesn't matter. Like, these guys, they need to be taken out of pound town or Supercell needs to update their uh, fair play agreement and just say, you know what? It's okay if you cheat. It's one of the other guys. So um, and I, I'm, I'm coming across with this tone because I'm really sick and tired of seeing this in the game. It's all over the game. It's been in every single leaderboard of this game since time immemorial. And uh, I'm not going to give up the fight, guys. So that's, that's, that's why we're doing this, <laughs> okay? Um, that's basically it. I mean, that's really all I want to talk about here. And it looks like my base is being attacked anyway. So, um, but let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and I, I probably missed some key points, but I just really want to get it across that it's bad, it's unfair, it's a violation of terms of service, and they need to just fix the, the, the exploit mechanism that these players are using to do this. And that's simply just revising um, how draws are handled by the game and the internal game mechanics. Please do that. And uh, We'll be happy and we'll have a healthier game. Thank you so much. Um, hope you have a super fantastic, awesome rest of your day. And remember, like always, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean and mean people suck. Take care.